No, nah, pre show in. Pre app is good. Look, I'm going to be one of those hipster curl head guys. Can I be a curl head guy? <laughs> it's me, curl head. <laughs> what if I. All right, how are we going to go? Should we put red on our face? You go first. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay, how do you? All right. It should be two, though. Okay. I know my paws. Yes. I bet you can't even see it in the camera. Yeah, probably not. All right, you ready? Three. Wait. Two. Where's the lid? In my hand. <laughs> okay. Can I write Queenslander on your forehead? No. Oh. The Q? Yeah. Can I? Which one are we looking at? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to write a big L. <laughs> 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 All right, you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Queenslander! Queenslander! All right. Hi, Hungries. No, nah, you you have to go in full ball. Hi, Hungries. We're dads. This is the Dad vs. Dad podcast. Hi, Jeremy. How are you? Good, Kev. How are you? Good. Yes. It's Queenslander week. It's Queensland week. Yep. Time for us to watch Origin. I'm not going to watch it. Now nah, we'll watch it on the news, see who won the next day. <laughs> I'm going to watch the NBA, though. Yeah, cool. Celtics are in the finals. Oh, yeah? I might but... play Elden Ring. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Will you look at the scores, though? Yeah, afterwards. All right. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, I feel like there was a bunch of things that I had this week. I'm going to look at notes. Yeah. Go okay. Queensland. How was your week, Jeremy? Oh, my week was pretty good. What did I, you um, do? I grew a dad moustache. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. It's You've done well. Yep. I shaved my entire face off and just focused on growing the moustache part. You should have shaved the eyebrows. Yeah. No? You should have. I should Although, have. If you, can you just go like this for a sec? And my forehead. You would look... Hilarious without eyebrows. Yeah. Or better with really thick eyebrows. <laughs> Everyone looks good with no eyebrows. You reckon? No. Marilyn Manson. Voldemort. Sh- <laughs> Peter Dutton. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine being Peter Dutton? Uh, people are being really mean to him. Just imagine him being him for a minute. Looking that evil. Just imagine being him though. He does have an evil look. I don't know anything about him except no. for he looks evil. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably a real sweetie. Ah, uh, he must be. He's probably like real sweetie. Says sweet things. His platform is just being sweet. He gets up to the microphone. Hi everybody. Have he's a like great all day. like shy and. You reckon it's like a cutie pie? <laughs> I saw the memes comparing me to Voldemort. I don't know, they were pretty funny. I they get it. Funny. Light jokes are fun. Yeah, yeah that was fun. Um, I saw that one thing. Um, Vol- Voldemort was demanding an apology for being compared to Peter Dutton. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. Uh, so my week. Are you finished with your week? Oh, Voldemort's a Harry Potter character for everyone who... Oh, as if no one... Everyone who's listening is over the age of two. Yeah. Yeah. Does Rusty know about Harry Potter? Yeah. Yeah. Brothers? Have you seen the movies? Oh. Are the brothers into it? Oh, uh, not anymore, but they were. Yeah, okay. Actually, no, they were really into it. I'm pretty sure we watched them. In fact, Rusty uh, got really scared of the, the big snake at the end. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Those first two movies really sucked. I mean, when I was five, they were great. In fact, no, I wasn't five. How old was I? I don't know. I didn't like the first movie when I saw it because it wasn't exactly the same as the book. Word I was for like, word. they missed this scene, they missed this scene. They missed this word. Yeah. And like all the challenges they had to go through at the end, they were a bit different to how the book kind of describes them. I was like, nah. Run I'm said, done with Harry Potter. Run said, hi, Harry, not hey there, Harry. Yeah. Yeah, what a dick. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's Really bad. ruined it for me. But then I did watch it as an adult and uh, they're all pretty good. Like the first two are pretty crap. 
But then the next mm-hmm. four are kind of amazing. I think if you consider them as like magical kid films, they are wonderful. For a kid that you know age, what? great. I would say their stories and the way the movies are done are a lot better than Star Wars movies. Oh, uh, careful. No, that's definitely a fact. Oh. But Star Wars has cooler stuff in it. The uh, old like, Star Wars movies are so much fun. Although, I I've, I'll, I'll admit, they are wonderful and exciting, but I have never been able to sit and watch a full movie and pay attention the whole time. <laughs> yeah, because they're pretty boring. And understand it. No, it's not that I don't... It, it's like, where are they? Tatooine. Where are they now? <laughs> oh, they're still in Tatooine. <laughs> Why are they... Yeah. What's Tatooine? Like they have cool stuff like Jar Jar Binks and like no, pod no. racing and the cool spaceships <laughs> and stuff. But like the stories and stuff just kinda of whatever. Yeah, I get it. The hero's journey. I love how the one that you're referring to is like Jar Jar Binks one. Oh, he was the best character though. Why? He made Star Wars really. <laughs> Before they made that movie, no one knew what Star Wars was pretty much. Then Jar Jar came to the scene. Everyone loved Star Wars suddenly. Yeah, they're like, Darth. No, it's Garth from uh, Wayne's World. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, Jar Jar Binks should have um, had his own spin off series. Too, <laughs> I think. <laughs> With his Misa, this Misa, that. No, he shouldn't have. I'm glad he didn't. Um, I'm not, yeah, just. You're the I'm, only one who's glad he didn't. No, yeah, just me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. Hagrid could have a spin-off as well. Who? Hagrid. Oh, yeah. He's he's from Harry Potter. He's yeah, no. the groundskeeper. It's Big Man. He's basically groundskeeper Willie. <laughs> but the Harry Potter version. And he's a bit Scottish, isn't he? No, he's not. Yeah, he is. No, he, no, he's very like... He's a half-giant, isn't he? Yeah. So We're getting nods. <laughs> how, what? We're getting nods. Yeah. How big are... Giants in the Harry Potter universe. Well, bigger than Hagrid, but not, um, not like because he's halfway between the two. Yeah. Why is he half? So a human had to mate with Ooh. a giant. <laughs> How does that happen? I don't know. Um. Do you? How does that relationship even begin? Oh, well, that's fair. Like, Hagrid's lovely. Anyone could fall in love with him. Presumably, well, yeah. his giant parent was the same. Just as sweet. Well, what if that was the parent? What if he was the child of, like, a horrible assault? Oh, me- yeah, maybe. Jesus. <laughs> I really feel for Hagrid. I hope he doesn't get a spin-off. I don't want to know this. <laughs> let him Let him chill. <laughs> There's probably story, there's backstories and side stories and news stories and spin offs and stuff all the time. Yeah. JK is prolific. She's into. She's into being a talented writer, that's for sure. Yeah. Loves Very a good creative trans. brain. Sorry? Loves a good trans. Ah, uh, well, the internet made her hate trans people. <laughs> Didn't you say that she was. Um fine with them and then someone made a big deal that she said something and she was like you know what now i hate them it wasn't exactly as smooth a transition as that but it did start off she just made like a really proud woman like she she was a feminist yeah and she said something proud about women and the internet was like oh yeah what about trans women Uh, shut up and (laughs) like it kind of they kept pushing her and pushing her and pushing her and kind of pushed her further and further away from the Trans rights things, and she just became a full on turf. I mean, it's that whole thing of like, you hate trans. No, I don't. It's fine. I like them. No, you hate them. No, yeah. no, I really. They're all right. like, it's not a problem. I'm just talking about women. No, you just hate trans. Fine, <laughs> yeah. I hate trans. Ooh, she said it. She said it. <laughs> you push me. Yeah, yeah. It's exactly that. Um, so my week, I've got a few things I wanted to come out with. So. The closet. Yay. No, I didn't yet. Okay. Still haven't watched a male porn. <laughs> male on male porn. Soon. Soon. Well. Only if the dad vs. dad parody If someone happens. makes one, send it my way. Yeah. I'll watch you. 
Do I have to if they do? <laughs> yeah. You so know what's now, even if worse? Got, if you've got just a couple you know of gay friends, they're just going to send you videos You know what's of even worse? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say this is us being you guys. You know what's even worse? The first gay porn I would watch is an imitation of me and my brother. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's your choice. Uh, let's let's get it all out at once. Well, you know, yeah, let's get real weird. No, uh, so I'm not coming out of the closet. Uh, I I yelled really hard at the kids this week. Ooh, bad yell. Yeah, it was a big one, um, and it was because my five year old Rusty put a hole in the wall. Oh, <laughs> how did you do that? Uh, so. I was sitting, I was working from home. You know, the kids come home from school. They do their lunches. They organize their showers. And then they're allowed to sit and do their thing. Uh, But on this one particular afternoon, it was after, it was actually crazy because they had a great day at school. Yeah. Um, You know, uh, joining in in all the activities. We've got some self-confidence things going on. So we're working out that. But joining in on all the activities... Everyone did the right thing. We got home. Everyone's in a good mood. I come down to do my work. The kids do their thing. And they're just screaming back and forth. I'm like, hey, what's going on? We had a great day. What's going on? Ah, this just happened. Blah, 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 blah. He doesn't want to butter his bread. (laughs) Just just butter his... Like, it's not that big of a deal. Don't worry about it. Like, Rusty, make your sandwich and then you can have your LCM. (laughs) It's all right, bud. So... I come downstairs again. I'm like, okay, back to work. Let's do it. More screaming, more banging on walls. And then I hear thump. And then I hear someone coming downstairs. (laughs) Oh God, what happened? What is it? So Opie's like, dad, Rusty put a hole in the wall. (laughs) Okay. And I walk up, I go to walk upstairs and, hey, did you get this? I'm like, I'm not talking right now, Opie. Give me a minute. So I go and look at the hole. I'm like, right, Rusty, to your room. And just rage, yeah. build, red face, shut a door hard. Yeah. Went downstairs, sat for a second, walked upstairs, everyone in the kitchen, sat him down. Guys, I'm really sorry I yelled. I'm really sorry. I think we all owe each other an apology. And it's so funny to watch a five-year-old look at you like, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, that was that. Yeah. Um, that was that was my dad losing it moment. Yeah, good. Because I, I, yeah, that... I don't know. I think that's a big sign. Do you get those I, moments? I feel like a hole in the wall is much more rage worthy than no pop tarts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a destruction to your property. There's money and time out of your day. That's all sorts. Uh, yeah. No, I've gotten real yelly mad. Yeah. Before. And it's usually like I um, feel immediately terrible about it. Yeah. Like As it, you're doing it, you're like, I shouldn't I, be doing this. Yeah. It's immediate guilt. I am absolutely hating this. But yeah, yelling and usually a bit of separation for a minute. Yep. You know, but it's taking you, you your out room. of the situation. I'm going to go to my room. Yep. We'll both take a deep breath, come back. And yeah, it's usually always like, we, we do always apologize to each other afterwards. It's good. I have yep. a big scream, come back. I'm sorry I yelled at you. I'm th- sorry I did whatever I did. I think um you can have the biggest fight in the world, but recovery is the biggest thing. Like yeah, uh, especially for little kids, they need to know that it's forgiven and it's okay, and you can move on. Yeah, like, yeah. even this morning, Vera was screaming about something. I can't remember, like I can't even remember what she wanted and what she was screaming. So I just picked her up, put her in her room. Yeah. You stay in there until you calm down. Yep. I didn't even yell at her. I'm, just... I'm done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't. 
Yeah, no, I, I find we are yelling a lot in this house. Yeah. Three kids, ADHD. Yeah, I try not to. I, I do... I'll let you play around with that for a bit because it's going to create a lot of noise. Does it? Oh, no, I went the wrong way. Do, 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 do. Yeah. All right, go. Speak. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we... We try not to yell too much. Like, um, I usually kind of let a lot slide before I start yelling. And not like just slide, but I'll be like, but that's a to try and talk scene. it down a bit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Um, yeah. That it's a real kind of balancing act. Yeah. Like, you don't want to just give them so much leeway so they get away with everything. Yep. But you also don't want to just be screaming at each other all the time. Yeah. It's just stressful for everyone. So, yeah, I really, I plan a lot of things in advance to try and avoid that as much as possible. Yep. Like, um, it used to be really hard to get her off, like, the TV or a game to come and have dinner. Yeah. It still is a bit, but I give her a lot more time. It used to be like, yeah, yeah. dinner's ready, turn it off. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it's like... <laughs> That so thing now, you're doing right now that you're loving so much, it's time to stop right now. Yeah. No warning, but... Now I try like, okay, dinner will be ready in 15 minutes. If I remember though, I'll be like, okay, dinner will be ready in an hour. Turn that off. We're going to do some colouring in or something until it's ready. Yeah. Yeah. I can't work my hair out. I'm looking at myself going, man, puff head. I loved it for a minute. Let's both... I'll just... Let's both play with our hair for hours. This is me. This is the show now. This is it. This is how we're doing it. Wait. How tall can you get your hair? What do you mean? Stay there. That? This is quality podcasting here. <laughs> you love... um, yeah, that's good. That's fun. <laughs> See how long that lasts. Okay. Uh, so, so the other thing I wanted to mention... Um, so... I'm diagnosed. Oh, yeah. yeah. Officially on drugs. Well, I, I don't know if it's diagnosed. I just went and talked to someone and they told me, yeah, that sounds like you've got ADHD. Have some pills. So, um... So, they don't even like... It's like a trial thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, it's like, up to you to determine these are not doing anything. Obviously, I don't have ADHD. I guess so. I mean, they don't give you or, Ritalin as an adult. They yeah. give you, um... So, uh, dexymetaphine, right? Yeah. Fun thing about that... That medication is for people with ADHD or narcolepsy. Yeah. How fun is that? Okay. So if I'm falling asleep right now, Dexy. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. I kind of have a bit of an understanding of that. I'm not sure if it's working, but I also keep forgetting, like I'll be, I'll be halfway through sentences and forget the thing that I'm trying to think of. Yeah. And I can't work out if that's a ADHD thing or I'm focusing so much on it that I can't, that I'm noticing it's gone. Um, I feel like I might have something <laughs> wrong too. Because for a long time, I thought you were talking about like the yelling at kids and like how not yelling at them and that kind of thing. And you were saying, and I'm not sure that's working. I thought you were talking about like dealing with the kids that process isn't working. Did you forget to listen? No, I listened to the thing. It just took a while to realize you were talking about the drugs again. Well, I Not said working. I'm diagnosed. Yeah, yeah. No, we had a whole thing. And, and then I was you partaking. forgot that. I you forgot were... that and I moved back into the <laughs> conversation. Maybe you... I do that sometimes. I think about something back in the day. Are you okay? Yeah. Slap? Yeah, I feel like that'll spruce me up. Do a star jump. We can both do star jumps. We'll do 10. This is... We'll do it. This is, uh... Okay. All right. Come on, my pants will drop. I go to the room here. All right, we might slap each other. Right. I do the wide feet, Oh! It's a <laughs> I just going to start... <laughs> I can't jump because I can't do the leg thing. Like there's chairs in the way. There's chairs either side. <laughs> You oh, we did have several requests to see my pants. Oh. Your pocket's straight? What do you Turn mean? around. The butt ones? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Are they? I don't know. 
Someone else come in. All right, how are you feeling? Oh, my hair's even better. Okay, pretty good. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Let's get on to news. Should I do the thing? <laughs> yeah. They didn't think of a better one. That's a good one. So, once upon a time, mm. the Mona Lisa was stolen. It is the most valuable thing anyone has ever stolen. Yeah, okay. Okay. And But they got caught. Yep. Obviously. Yep. With pie on their faces. Okay. Much like the actual Mona Lisa this week. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> okay, so that was my awful segue from nothing to this. Yeah. <laughs> but someone, a climate activist, yeah. snuck into the Louvre dressed as an old lady in a wheelchair. Okay. So she could get as close as possible to the... Mona Lisa, yeah. she tried to break the security glass in front of it and smear custard pie all over it. Oh, my Didn't God. Didn't manage to break the glass, but still got the pie out somewhere, off somewhere. People don't know where she got it from. He got it from. Pie all over the glass in front of the Mona Lisa. And as he did it, he said in French, think of the earth. People are destroying the earth. Artists tell you, think of the earth. That's why I did this. I'm sure it sounded much more poetic in French. <laughs> it just sounds I love, really. I love how, like, this criminal in the act gave his reasoning during the act. Well, of course he did. Yeah, but you know, it's like that's when all eyes on him. Everyone's paying attention to him right then and there. This is my speech. They're not like yeah. as they're carting him off in I the paddy wagon. I hate it. I hate that they're like. I'm going to go and do this thing and there's going to be a really, really significant reason for it and people are going to, you know, join in and understand what I'm going through. Yeah. No, they're not. Apparently also he had... Um, this wasn't his first attempt at vandalising the Mona Lisa. <laughs> All what? of the other ones were foiled. <laughs> and they didn't go into detail of what those other attempts were, but he has tried to do it before. So because he did it before, does this mean it's like, nah, Jail time, mate. I don't know. Do you go... Well, it's vandalism, I guess. Is it? Is it littering? Because he didn't... <laughs> he didn't vandalise the painting because he just vandalised the bulletproof glass in front of him, at least. <laughs> what does that count as? Intentional littering. I mean, but the fact is, it's like... He's going to buy it. He's just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what, what crime is that exactly? <laughs> I think it's just vandalism. I think that would just come under... Let's find out. That would just be classified as vandalism. What, well, uh, is it vandalism? What was that? Oh, 50. Oh, 50. What is that from? From a Pokemon counter. Oh, a damage counter. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, okay. That's so fun. Oh, we might put up the pictures of that. Yeah. He does look like an old lady. Yeah. I mean... Oh, yeah, got the glass on it. And look at that smear. That's fingerprints. Yeah. <laughs> See, this This is what I did. <laughs> yeah, no, that's all right. Good on him. Yeah, what a guy. I hate activists, but... Activists. They are the worst, because they're like... Well, and in some cases, it can be important for people to rise up against... I think climate... Like, authorities I... that are really doing the things... I think genuinely I'm a I'm for climate change and all of that. But Did I you don't hear like the about protests. the airline during COVID kept running flights back and forth to keep the pilots and the air staff in a job? No, I... empty. Flew them. Sorry, that was a big important part of that. They flew them empty. Well, they couldn't get anyone across the plane. Yeah, they weren't allowed to. And and there was no one booking flights or anything, but they'd still run the flight empty just What's to keep the, the pilots in a job. They, they, they could have just like, paid them anyway and just left them at home. Did they get like government incentive for running the business? You know, no. is there like a, hey, our business still needs to run. So 
government payments. Maybe there was some government thing in there. Maybe it was covering the cost enough. Because there were like... Yeah, but still, it doesn't matter if it's covering the costs enough. They're just burning all of this fuel, <laughs> destroying the environment for no one, for no reason. You imagine how like, bored you would be. Do you think they still have to do the before flight dance? Yeah, they probably did. I don't know. Perform um, for the pilots. Yeah. It's good practice. Yeah. I don't know. If I went and played a gig to someone and no one was there, I'd still play. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard of comedians doing that as well. Like they'll get on the stage, there's like maybe one person there. Or well, like just a security guy hey, in John. the background. <laughs> I think... It's a good way to... Actually, that is perfect. Norm, you haven't watched your special yet, have you? New one? Yeah. I feel like I maybe have. Did you... Well, well out to lunch or a different one? No, the new Norm Macdonald, he released Oh, Norm special. special. Oh, I'm stealing lights. What's happening? I here? thought you meant Norman. No, hold on. No, hold I on, haven't everybody. seen Norm special yet. It's, uh, so he purport, he pur- let me sit down first. Yeah. Let me, I've got to sit down for this one. This can be your news. Yeah, well, it's, well, I got another news and that's a good news. Um, so the news, oh, come on. What is happening? I just escaped this mess. <sighs> Rub your eyes again. My red's coming off. You, it's all off. Now you just look embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> My rouge. <laughs> so, Norm MacDonald's most recent special is incredible. And it's not like a typical stand-up special. It's very Norm comedy. Mm. Uh, but... Because he released it and no one was like, he recorded it from his lounge room. It's so real. There's like a phone call midway. He's like, Hey man, I'm just doing an ep- uh, <laughs> thing. I'll call you back. And then there's like the dog barking in the lounge room. It's insane. That's awesome. It's so real. But he, he commits to every joke. He delivers, he pushes through the fact that there's no one there. And then at the very end of it, they have this like round table with like Dave Chappelle, Adam Sandler, um, uh, Conan, uh, like a bunch of people, and it's so. Uh, don't do that. Yeah, I don't want to watch that part. No, it's really, it's worth it. It's really good. Yeah, because they talk about like how good of a person he was, and some of the like final weeks of his life where he was hanging out with him and stuff. Yeah, maybe not weeks, but you know, um, really cool, really really good. Cool. Yeah. Cool and good. Cool and good. All right, here's the news. Here's another news. Okay, so how into The Voice were you this year? Not. Not? Even though we technically knew someone on there? Yeah, well, technically did. Well, I don't know. Oh, okay. Um, But uh, anyway, so there's been a lot of news about The Voice finals this year. Yeah. Uh, One specifically I thought was interesting was the fact that a white male one. Yep. And not a person of color. Yep. You know, it's, I feel, I, I saw a thing about, I think like um, an American The Voice or like similar kind of show, maybe X Factor, whatever, they're all the same. <laughs> um, but they mm. were saying that the votes were clearly just pandering because they voted for a queer person of color or something. When, who was no so, not even nearly the best singer there. Yeah, yep. And that's it. I think it's really... I mean, I'm not saying that they weren't good singers. I definitely know uh, one of the people who didn't win was fantastic. What's incredible. the news you're bringing in? So anyway, part <laughs> of the votes yeah. was the fact that the news article... Let's go here. The news article, Mistake sees thousands of votes for The Voice final go uncounted. Right. The reason they got uncounted uh didn't go counted was because everyone who messaged messaged one number wrong and some guy got thousands and thousands of text messages was it on the screen wrong was it written somewhere wrong or is it just thousands of people were idiots so uh it says a simple mistake made by thousands of aussies Mm. casting their votes for the voice final has meant the number of votes has gone uncounted 
now it can be revealed that thousands of votes went un uncounted after fans punched in the wrong phone number when voting for text. It goes to the actual guy. I deleted the first hundred messages because I thought I was being spammed, not realizing people were voting. I have not watched the show and had no idea why people were texting me these constant names. It wasn't until I saw an advert with the mobile number posted that I realized how close it was to my number and the penny dropped. How dumb are everyone? Like, when they're so excited to vote, they just can't get the fucking number right. <laughs> I gotta, 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 gotta get my vote in. Like, what is wrong with people? Like, they don't check before they send. It was send. thousands of Aussies sending to the wrong number. Not the wrong number was posted. Yeah. It was people. It was idiots. But how do thousands of people make that same mistake? I feel like maybe <sighs> on one of the ads they read it out wrong or like maybe there was a mistake in some print. Maybe it was printed wrong on one of the websites. Maybe I like just... Like it's weird that thousands of people all made the same mistake. Yeah, at no point did Channel 7 post the wrong number on its social media website or on air throughout the voting period. Yeah. So it's just... Just thousands of idiots. This is the fan base of The Voice. Yeah, These that are makes the people sense. who watch The Voice. That does make perfect okay. sense, actually. So, it, you know what it probably read, was? Can barely write. Kids uh, who have just gotten mobile phones. No, it wasn't kids. It was just. It was The Voice fans. Kids aren't watching The Voice. Kids yeah. love The Voice, not my kids. No kids. It's not on. It's not a streaming thing. It's on TV. Kids yeah. don't watch TV. Well. Families watch TV. No. Not our family. They watch Netflix. Yeah. No millennial parents watch TV. How did we watch TV? Because we were kids and TV was the only way you could watch things. Yeah. I guess so. It's much easier back then. But even now, I'd be like, the voice is on. Excellent. I'm going to watch Netflix. Yeah, yeah, I suppose that's how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. And before it will be like, hey, the voice is on. I'm going to go and play games or guitar. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It makes sense. Yeah. Maybe. Yep. Uh. Okay. <laughs> so you had some <clears throat> thing about child support discussion. So this week's dad advice. Mm. So the reason it's coming through is because I've been going through the forums and a lot of dads hate the idea of child support. Yeah. And I think if you have to pay for your children, whether it be at your home or the ex's home, it's to support your children. Yeah. Know that money specifically, they may not be getting your 50 bucks a month and spending that specifically on the kid, but they are using their hard-earned money or... Yeah, if it, uh, if it contributes it, towards rent or anything, keeping a roof over their heads, Yep, that kind of thing. Um, it can depend on the mother it's going towards because there are like or the father because it can go either way like yep. if it's going towards someone who you know is just a horrible druggy person and your kid hates being in there and you know your kid's not willing to go there and you still have to pay it to them like yeah. that can be a you don't want to be paying that but like if you know that that mother is going to be doing a great job with that kid and doing everything you can for the kid yeah I don't see a problem with it. And if I... the case is, if you're not comfortable with the way that your kid is living at the other house, then do something about it. Yeah. It's got to be a safety concern. And if it's not a safety concern, maybe go through mediation. Yeah. That's you know, it. there's other processes in place. The idea of child support is that the child has the same kind of care at both of the houses. Yep. So it's not like in one kid here. In one hair. In one house, yep. you know. They're getting all these Armani clothes and you know, <laughs> Rolex watches and stuff. And in the other house, What's they up, have to Mom? settle for like Amigas and, <laughs> you know, just Nike, whatever. Black and gold oh. shoes. <laughs> yeah. No, but, yeah. It's just about kind of balancing it. Because I am in a pretty unique situation, whereas I have Vera half of the time and I get child support. Mm-hmm. Now, I have been working very hard since separating to try and get to a point where I'm earning enough that my ex doesn't have to pay me any child yep. support at all. Yep. That would be <clears throat> my ideal situation is that 
no one pays anyone any money because we're both adults supporting ourselves supporting, and our child yeah. the same. Um, but it does, <clears throat> especially early on, really did help a lot keeping a roof over our heads and you know well, keeping us fed and everything. <clears throat> um, the thing is, you weren't yeah. getting judged for that either. Uh, mm. When that was happening, it wasn't like, oh, I've got to pay for this bloody loser X, you know? Yeah, no, we were it's, very... It was really amicable and that's it. Like you shouldn't ever consider it that, especially if the breakup is, is fresh or yeah. the separation is like, it should really just be, um, it should be a stepping stone so you can get into a position where you're comfortable. Yeah. And it should, like if there's a small portion of difference within the incomes, then, you know, a, a small, if you're earning enough, you shouldn't be complaining about child support. Yeah. You know, because it's yeah. for your kids' living circumstances at the other house. Oh, the, yeah, and a lot of people, um, they budget in such a way that they force themselves to live week to week. Mm-hmm. So when child support comes into it and everything, and they have no extra money because they yeah budget to the limit, then it, they have nothing left. Yeah, yeah. And just like I feel like if you're at a point where um. No, never mind. I lost that thought. It was probably a very good one. I imagine it would have been really insightful <laughs> and really helpful to a lot of dads out there and mums. And I forgot it. So. so just assume that you, that Jeremy said something really smart. And oh yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Well done. That Round was... of applause for Jeremy. All right. Yeah, he's done all right. Good work. And I think um we can all appreciate jeremy you're so insightful yeah we can all benefit a little bit from that <laughs> i sure do hope this. even people who aren't dealing with child support we're all we're all learning a bit here i think as well child support it's such a shitty argument like yeah. parents arguing about that sort of money is like come on shut up get over it move on yeah and the, the government has very specific calculations to work out who's getting That's it. how much child support and for what reason you made a decision to do an act with this person which created another human being and that other human being deserves the right to have the circumstances as if you were still both together it's not your it's yeah. not their fault to suffer in one house because you decided that this wasn't for you yeah yeah stop yeah. being selfish think of your kids you do you gotta think of your kids yeah Yep. Even if your ex is a nightmare, you just you. It's not about that. Yeah. Push it aside. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yep. So that's uh that's dad advice. It's not as fun as throwing cupboards and tables. But at least I said that thing that we were all moved by. And you know what? Yeah, I think um. It's not often I say something real and. Yeah. You know, really get into it. You know, I'm usually silly and joking around, but I said that really seriously. You know, I thought I thought this episode was going really like slow and and dull, and then you said that, and I thought, <laughs> you know, at really? least if someone can learn one thing today, it it'll that. make a difference. Yeah, far out. Okay, let's liven things up a bit. I've got a challenge. <laughs> okay, what's our challenge? All right, I've got something in here. One your pocket. In my pocket. I got something in my pocket. This for you. Balloons! Yeah. Is this that is for you. What did you put in this one? Now, what have you got there? I've got some black balloons in a sandwich bag. Now, <laughs> are they balloons? They're balloons. You gave me frangers, didn't you? <laughs> now, this is going to be a blowing up competition. Can I trade? You want gold? Well, I just... Need to know, have you sabotaged me? I haven't, but we can swap. Should we swap a few? No, we need to keep the colours. No, I think it's good. It's fine. I'm okay with black. Now, I've also drawn a line on here. They need to be at least that big. Do we have to measure after everyone, or are we going to measure Mm. at the end? We can measure at the end. All right, so it's how many can you blow up and tie up? That's a tiny balloon. It's not a huge balloon. No, that's a tiny balloon. It's not a huge balloon. No, that's a tiny balloon. It's not a very big balloon. <laughs> like Do you want to say it's got to be... No, it's got to be... So it's, it's the fastest work. to move to blow them up? And tie them up. you got to tie and blow them up. Wait, should we blow them all up or the fast, most in a minute? No, it's got to blow them all up. First to blow them all up 
How fun's the rest of the episode gonna be with like out of breath? <laughs> and just hearing us blow up each balloon. Well even better. Oh man. We really should have done like a, a stopwatch deal. Do you want okay, to Okay, we should... if we're not doing if we're not doing who can blow up the most in a minute, what if we just do the first to blow up and tie up three? No, we're blowing them all up. Okay. If we do it. Okay. What do you mean well, if we do it? In a minute? In a minute or two minutes? Well, no, just... We're do- How long do you think it's going to take to blow up a balloon? Okay, we'll do one minute. No. The most balloons blown up in one minute. Jeremy, we're just blowing up the balloons. <laughs> it's first to finish. And they only count if they're above the size. Yeah, well, that's why we would have done the time thing. And then if... If we did get the same amount, then one of them was under the size and... Okay. So at the end, when you finish, you have to say, I'm done. All right. At at the very end. Okay. Whoever says, I'm done quickest. Okay. Wins. Okay. You sure you don't want to do the most in two minutes? I don't. Why not? Because I just want to blow up the balloons. <laughs> you don't want any left over. Well, I think it might take me three minutes. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. But what of if course you, it's not going to take me three minutes. But what if no you one's feel sitting like, here for three minutes going... What if you feel like this is enough? What if like you've done like three and you're like, oh, this is enough balloons for me? No. <laughs> what do you mean? It's, it's a challenge. You know, if you're chasing your kids around because they're about to get hit by a car, you need to have breath. Yeah, and you need to do it quick, like within two minutes. That's... <laughs> It's CPR practice, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But are we going to do first... Why don't we do it how many in two minutes? We are just blowing up the balloon and the first one to say I'm done. What if it takes too long? Well, it'll take... We can cut the audio. People will love the video, though. (laughs) They'll see your red face from your texter and your attitude. Okay. Okay. All right. Did you give me more balloons? How many do you have? I have seven. One, two, seven. Seven. <laughs> it's seven. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Now, you've had more practice in this because you've got more kids, so you've had more birthdays. <laughs> I'm good at balloons. I'm good at tying balloons. Although, I have an injury. I feel like I made a mistake bringing in this surprise. <laughs> I've been prepared. <laughs> no, I've got an injury, so I might be slow at the tying. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can we... Should we say we're not allowed to check it? No, we're not allowed to check it. No, but if we're doing it to the who does it the quickest, here's the problem with doing it the quickest, is if one of us finish faster and then the other one finishes, and then what, one of their balloons... Isn't big enough, so what, they just fail? Yeah. They just... So you you have to be the fastest and do them the right size. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Can you go back and blow it up? Well, no, it's tied up. (laughs) (laughs) If you can blow through a knot. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. This episode has energy. (laughs) All right. Okay, first of all, I'm all up. Can we get a on your marks, get set? All right. On your marks, get set, go. It's not big enough. Oh, crap, it is. Whip me. (laughs) This is way worse than I was gonna.
I don't know if you've noticed you're an entire balloon behind. <laughs> I'm three behind. <laughs> a little small. Stop. Finish! I tried to do two at once. I tried to do two at once. All right, quick, I think you've got one that's too small. Go check. Oh. I win. I'm like dizzy in the head. Why seven balloons? I really thought you had this one when you were talking such a big game. I didn't. I that's wasn't talking I game. The, I was... the most in a minute. <sighs> I, would, I still would have won. But Why most... did you almost throw up in it? I like <laughs> coughed. I was, <laughs> I was do, breathing too much. Because mine was full in like two breaths. You know, it's like you three. Gonna, like, have a spew balloon. Nah. <coughs> anyway, so I think one of yours is too small. Grab your smallest one over there. No, hang on. I think your smallest one is too small. I think your line's too big. <laughs> what do you mean the line's too big? <laughs> you know what? You can go this way. A oh, bull. How can you go that way? They're That's all going to be bigger. Wasn't it because that? Because it didn't need to be huge balloons. It just needed to be big enough to be like, yeah, that's a decent balloon. That's a decent balloon. I, I thought you meant this way. Yeah, that's fine either way. Yeah, Doesn't but matter. if you're going that way, I could have had one breath and done. Mine is still bigger than yours. Ugh, anyway, show us your smallest one. I think it might be too small. This guy. Sp yeah. Bit small. Nice. Pretty small. Oh, I reckon even... Oh, just... And that way, not even close. Not even close. Anyway, I'm not even going to bother smelling. Uh, I can have a look at my smallest. Yeah, do it. This <clears throat> is my smallest. Is that your spew one? No. Look, that's no, big go the other both ways. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You're a liar. That is big enough both ways. Bet you can't do a push up. No, I can't. But. Uh. <laughs> I am so happy with that win. You know what that means? Junk. Whoop, that was a shit. One of them. It's been a while since I said it, Jeremy. Yeah. You are the best dad. Done tootin'. <laughs> best dad, and I got the dad stuff to prove it. <clears throat> you might be the greatest dad. I laughed at you almost spewing in a balloon. You did laugh a lot. However, I w uh, yeah, you did slow down a lot because of the laughing. I couldn't breathe. I was already one balloon in front of you at that point. I was no, you weren't. Yes, I was. No, you weren't. That's why I ended up two balloons in front because I was one balloon in front. Then you started laughing, so I caught up another balloon. Killed why it. Did you oh, almost throw that. up in a balloon? Uh, too much breathing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was pushing myself too hard, <laughs> but paid off. Dad of the week. That's not easy, you know. No, I know. I Getting tried. Dad of the week. I've got nine of them. You've got seven. Oh, shut They're up. not easy. Why have we got less dad of the weeks than there are episodes? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. Yeah. There should be 19 Dad of the Weeks. Because we had one where we didn't do a Dad of the Week. The There's probably a app. few. Oh, the Caravan one and the sick week, the sick one last week. Oh, yeah. And the push-up <clears> didn't <throat> count. We cancelled that it one. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I should absolutely have that win. No, no. You were wholesome. You gave it up. Oh, I can't <laughs> believe we did that. What a joke. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, uh, 
we'll do weigh in last. Right now, we are going to discuss the second best animal. The reason we're doing the second best animal because the very best animal, we it's both magpie. agree, is yeah, magpies. Magpies, yeah, magpies are best. the best animal. <clears throat> okay, so we'll do runner up, runner up, runner up, runner up, second best, second best. All right. Uh, did you say me first? We can rock paper for it. I think you better go first because I need to think. <laughs> okay, my third favorite, fourth favorite, my fourth favorite animal. Yeah. Is. Can we uh, just say third? It makes it easier. Yeah, okay. Thanks. My third <clears throat> second best animal <laughs> is... Oh, this is a hard one. You know what? The dog. We had a cat versus dog challenge, and the reason dogs are one of the best animals in the world... Yeah. That they are the fourth best animal in the world, or third second best animal in the world. That's your thoughts. Yeah. They're, they're the fourth best animal in the world. Yeah. Just because. Because they're amazing and loyal and so easy to train and the best and they're heroes. They save people's lives. They save blind people's lives. They catch drug dealers. They do. They are great animals. They... Why are they not your number two? Because oh, you'll we'll just wait till you're okay, your number two. all right, all right. I'm going to... I genuinely hate these animals. Okay. But they are one of the best. Okay. What's what's the biggest yuckiest thing you can think of? A slug? A centipede. Oh, why are you putting why don't even why? Because they are so disgusting, so creepy. If hell had an animal, it would be centipedes. Why is that in the running for your second best animal then? It's not in. It's up there in the top best, but it's not my favorite. Why is it even on the list of? It shouldn't even be in your top one million. Because <laughs> I love it, that I hate it. You love the massive emotion that it invokes in yeah. you. Yeah, it's like it's like a really terrible movie um, that makes you feel something. Like it's impressive in its it yeah, can make you feel yeah, that way. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Bad so, answer. No, it's a great answer. They are so. I watched a show called Lord, is it Kings of Pain? I don't know. Kings yeah. of Pain. And they have a pain scale. It goes between like how long the pain lasts, how severe the pain is and something else. Yeah. Um, and centipede is the highest on that list out of any animal. And they had like a crazy snake. Yeah, they are gross animals. Yeah, that's good. Um, <clears throat> okay, my second best. Mm-hmm. Bears. All bears? All bears. Oh, that's Not so, so much the sun bears. The sun bears. Oh, you can't end. Sun bears are pretty good, but they're the least good bear. I mean, being the least good of the best species. I mean, there's worse dogs, bad. I guess. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. Um, but, uh, you know, bears are great. They're both super cool, amazing at killing things, and chill AF. They are, yeah. They okay. just like right. lays about, rub their back on a tree, eat honey. Did, did you ever? Did yeah? Did you ever see a Pooh Bear? Nice. Yeah, we need Pooh is a bear. Yeah, he is a bear. I forget that he's a, a, we need a savage. The Pooh the bear. <clears throat> we need the Pooh. Well, the he bear. is a Pooh Bear. Is Pooh Bear? That's the type of bear he is. <laughs> oh. They're better than sun bears. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what bear he was. A, a Pooh bear. bear. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, okay, my my second go-to. Right? Mm. There's going to be another gross animal. Yeah, I'm not going to. I was going to, but I'm not going to. Do ones that you like. <laughs> Don't punish yourself. <laughs> Because my best is the best. Yeah, okay. So, um, Yeah, but the runners-up can be great too. Nah, it doesn't matter. I'll tell you a good animal. Yeah, okay, <laughs> That's what this one. is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the runners-up are just like, you know what else is good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what? I'll go sloths. I wasn't going to go sloths, but I'll say sloths. Sloths are pretty cool. Sloths are great. They're so slow. Chill as. They are just... Particularly uh, the three-toed sloth. That's the slowest one. Yes, 
So that apparently they're great at swimming. Yeah. And the only time they leave a tree is to shit. Yeah, that's cool. So good. That's the only time I leave trees. <laughs> <laughs> I would totally shit off a tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. What's your what's... number one animal? <clears throat> oh. Number one, two animal. Number two animal. Number one. <laughs> The best, second best animal in the world <laughs> are octopi. Oh, I was, they are really They're good. so great. They're so smart and clever and can change shape and texture and color. They have three hearts because they love so hard. Oh. Apparently, uh, I almost learned some octopus facts recently. Yeah. Didn't. Like, apparently... <laughs> <laughs> only two of its tentacles count as arms or something? Did you? Like only two of them they <clears throat> use as arms. I almost learned some octopus facts, but I didn't. Yeah. What like I mean? started reading the paragraph about the octopus and about how many arms it has. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't read the rest. It was like the first page of a QI book. Oh, right, yeah. So I started reading it. I'm like, this is really interesting. I'd like to read more of this later. But I was tossing up between that and another book. <laughs> so I ended up not reading either of them. <laughs> <laughs> All but right. yeah. octopuses they occupy are... the best. They're just like, <clears throat> so cool. And, and they clever. can squeeze into like bottles and stuff. Yeah, because they can change their shape of self. What if I so had much. said octopus are my favorite? Then we'd tie and we put our second animals up for the vote oh which i said doesn't matter bear versus sloth yeah oh, damn okay in which case all right all right all right i promised i'd do it so my favorite animal is <laughs> chameleon chameleon so they are have you seen a baby chameleon yeah they're adorable cute as tiny tiny little and guys. their eyes just like they do have some of the best eyes in the business. Yeah. Yeah. And they change colour. Yeah. So like, much like an octopus. Uh, yeah, yeah. They yeah. can't change texture like an octopus though. Texture. Octopus, yeah. They can make themselves go like spiky. No way. Like, or like like rough looking like a rock or like Oh uh, yeah, that's wild. Mm. Okay, yeah, well I mean they're not texture they're animals. Not as flexible. But they they I they mean, breathe even oxygen the... though. So they've got that. The they way they move. Yeah, they're little the little rocks and they're yeah. hanging out and the fact that they're just like slow as and the curly tail yeah, oh, curly heaps. they got a lot going for them they are heaps see octopus they're, they're, they're way better <clears throat> than like lizards are cool okay all lizards all geckos cool oh, they are really cool yeah, but all of them chameleons like way above they are, every lizard yeah. and not only are they way cooler than every other lizard they're cute yeah. And they shouldn't be cute. Like, if you looked at something that has eyes mangled on the side of their head, kind of, yeah. you know, they're unnaturally yeah. cute. They are. They're, they're a, rare, a rare mix of, like, every feature is super weird, but, like, they pull it off. So, so they can get we, away with it. How would we determine what is the better animal? Because... Well, we're going to vote, obviously. Well, we really need, like, a checkpoint. What do you mean? Like, the point system. What do you mean? Yeah, we have that. Votes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I guess we can vote. It'd be pretty close because they're both very good animals. Yeah. And they are both... I mean, they. I hope everyone loves them both. I hope no one votes because it's too hard. Yeah. Octopi can be a little misunderstood. They're not as cute. Oh, they can be. They've seen like little baby... Blue ring ones and their little, little nubbies. Blue rings, so deadly. Yeah. They are also the deadliest animal in the world. They they can be that as well. Yeah, so... Without I'll... being like a gross centipede. <laughs> Yuck. Yeah, I love them. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, I mean, and that's... Uh, I mean, I'll give you some squid points. <laughs> so, they also have like the old uh, mythology giants... Squid. Squids, the octopus. Different. Sorry, a squid. Yeah, I just said squid. So they have like the older giant octopuses that like used to consume boats and stuff. There was like the I kraken. I think they were squids. The, the kraken is like based off an octopus. Squid. I, oh, I keep getting them wrong. 
Don't worry. Yeah. Aren't they squid family? They're probably related. Probably in the cuttlefish too. Cuttlefish are really cute. Are they? Yeah. You see the name is cute. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's cuttlefish, not cuttlefish. Mm, it's cuttlefish. But, like, they can change colour and, like, do these things too. And they're really cute with their young. Are they? Yeah. You know the side fact? You know, what are they called? The the crocker? They're like Quokka. The Quokka. Yeah. So did you know they, in in danger situations, <laughs> will throw their child at the predator? I did know to that. To seek refuge? Father of the year. I love, <laughs> I love that they're like, take my young. <laughs> well, you know, like, I think it's otters. It might be otters. It's, an, it's a cute they animal. When they're in danger and they have... They're young with them. They hold up their young as if like, I'm a mother. Look how cute this thing is. Don't hurt me. Aww. <laughs> yeah. Otters are probably the cute. We should do a cute animal episode. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean. You could bring in chameleons again. I could. <laughs> <laughs> they are all rounders. All right. Let's get undressed and weigh ourselves. And have a wee. The wee's a secret. People don't need to know where. You said... I left it in the last one. You've mm. never said it was a secret. I cut it out of all the audio. Do you? Yeah. I don't listen to the audio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't watch the video at some... I, I watch some of it sometimes. Like, I watched the weigh-in bit, and I saw you leaving the pee bit. I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, because we click and we jump away. Yeah, into our being naked. Yeah. Should we do that? One. <laughs> okay. One, two. <laughs> Did that one on purpose. I'll do it properly this time. One. <laughs> Off you go. One, two, three. What? Oof. What happened? <laughs> so, so weird. Anyway. Um, how was your week uh, with eating? Um, bit of okay. Bit of crap. Bit of both. But I did have three so big sandwiches today for lunch and a bit of cake. Oh, yeah. You are one sandwich up. Yes. Yeah. And I had a pretty big breakfast wrap. I had, uh, I had a really terrible week, but then yesterday I ate really, really well. Hopefully that fixed everything. I hope so. All right. All right, you go Let's first. Weigh ourselves. Last week I was one hundred point nine. That's right. You jumped up from the hundred, the ninety nine. You you bounced back. So, all right, get rid of all your things. Okay, and you are now sitting at one oh one point seven, Jeremy. Yay. You are up eight hundred grams. Yeah. Oh no, I took a sip. I'm full again. <laughs> oh, all right. So last week I was uh, one, 137. 137. Take off my belt. I wasn't wearing a belt last time. No, this is a kilo. Surely. Wait. It's a heavy belt. Give me a sec. I'm going to, well, I'm going to weigh myself and we'll do the thing and then I'm going to check how much I weigh. Think about how much a bottle of milk weighs. It's about two kilos. It's not a kilo. No. Okay. All right, you ready? So right. last time I was 137. This week I am... Oh. I am... 135.8. That is one 1,200 gram loss. Thank you. Good work, Thank you. I'm Kevin. I'm going to check the belt. One, one. You are the skinniest dad on earth. What was I this week? For everyone playing it for home, to vote for your favourite, your second favourite animal, <laughs> to vote for our second favourite animal, which is better out of the chameleon and the octopus, you can go to facebook.com slash dadversdadpodcast. Yep. Uh, and there'll be some content on the Instagram this week. Maybe just some photos of the balloon challenge because, god damn it. That, that was, was fun. <sighs> yeah, so you can go to instagram.com slash dadversdadpodcast. Yep. And Patreon, if you want to watch this video <laughs> rather than hear all our blowing up. You and watch all of it, 
the, uh... Jimmy throw up in a balloon. Uh, you can, you can, you do it. You can find us on Patreon at patreon.com slash dad versus dad. That's right. Yeah, you can help support us. Uh, like, <laughs> we've been able to fund a new microphone. That's right. All um, thanks to our patrons. We really appreciate your support. I do want to say a giant thank you to the patrons because it is like, it's crazy. I can't yeah. believe it's and, amazing and anyone, how supportive they are. And even if you're not uh, paying, I just I want to say we are genuinely thankful that you're listening. Yeah, we appreciate everyone listening. There's not that many of you, but we've been getting still really good feedback from all of you. Yep. Um, you know, bring in some pals. Maybe share it around if you feel comfortable. If you don't want people... To, oh, I'll, uh, yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to do this, Jeremy, before we mm. end it. I just want to apologize because I don't genuinely think that word is appropriate, but I did use it. My intentions were not to harm or offend. It was to educate myself and everybody else listening, but maybe I could have done that in my own time. So I apologize if anyone was offended to do that. I'm sorry, Kevin apologized because I know some of you learned a lot from that segment and some of you stopped using the word thanks to that segment. So you are welcome. And... We will no longer use the word sorry on this podcast. <laughs> we I will. Would, I would like. We will own everything we do. You're right, and and for that, I would also like to genuinely say, it may be a good idea for us to move our hatred towards hatred. An- no one no, said whoa, whoa, hatred. Whoa. Okay, hang on. All right, my apologies. Oh, we're not apologizing anymore. <laughs> no, no more no. apologizing. You have to decide who you're hating now. Okay, who are we hating? deal with it um amber heard i was going to say we could move that hate hate her we We could could move the hate from amber heard to jeremy for for loving the r word yeah i know you're a big what about but we can hate centipedes yeah we should yeah your third fourth favorite animal apparently i know it's they affect me in a certain way that's still your fourth I can't Favorite. believe I said that. I hate them so much. Yeah, that's weird. I'm so disappointed them. that you even brought them oh, up on the show. I'm, I hate them so much. And weird. I have a... I, it's just because I'm angry at my cat. I would have said cat. <laughs> and you know what? So, so that's the cat. That's punishment to Andy the cat. You're being punished and Not replaced only that, by the worst animal because you, I hate you that much. You know what it was? What? In my thought, my thought process, yeah. the other week Andy found a centipede and was playing with it. Yeah. And I was like, this guy will kill Wait, you. Like little black ones? No, or that's a millipede. Centipede. Oh, a centipede, okay, like centipede. a big a big guy. Yeah, wow. And um, we freaked out. And the cat, he's been pissing in the cupboard. So um, <laughs> we're angry at him. And I feel like as punishment to Andy, I chose the one thing that could have killed him. Yeah, that's which, fair. Can I apologize for that to Andy? <laughs> you have to play it, do I, though? Him. It's a boy. It is a boy cat. Yeah. We flicked his nuts, remember? Yeah, I do remember flicking his nuts. Yeah. Bye, Hungries. My dads. Two brothers. Terrible. Yeah. What a mess. That was a slow one. But we had fun. Yeah. Not every episode is going to be a banger. You know what I think it is? The challenge was a lot of fun. I really liked that. Yeah. That was. I hope... Well, maybe we can cut... Everything but the challenge. <laughs> no, I think it's just. Don't, don't do that with audio, please. No one's going to sit through two minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to. And then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did oh. have a run in with Darren Lockyer. It was it, but that's as far as. But I won't say anything about it. Did you. How was your interaction with him? Good. Yeah? Um, can't remember what. Like, there was a bit of. Joking. Did you say? No, I don't football know. wasn't mentioned. I, I, I was worried because I was a bit sick. <laughs> so I had a bit of the crackly voice still. And I didn't want him to think that I was making fun of him. <laughs> yeah. I use but, him. And, and he was speaking because he always speaks clearly before a match. It's only after a match where he's like. Arr, 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 arr. <laughs> Did he announce himself as, hi, it's Darren Lockyer, football legend. No. He goes It's me, Darren. <laughs> um Dazza. 
There's a Lockyer. No, we go, oh, it's surname. Lockyer. Okay. I used to have a football player with the same surname. <laughs> yeah, I should have Tony Hawk's him. <laughs> what? <laughs> no one recognizes Tony Hawk when they like meet him. Like Tony Hawk is the most unrecognizable person in the world, but yeah. like his name is super recognizable. No, I, I, so, I like, would recognize him, uh, we, but he does look like an average show. And everyone knows his name. Yeah. So like a lot of people, like when they see him, like like through whatever, they'll check his passport or something. Tony Hawk, <laughs> like the skateboard guy. And he's like, yeah, just like the skateboard guy. There's a coffee dude that, um, you know, Tom Morello from um, Rage Against the Machine. Jeremy, I'm talking to you. Yeah. Yeah, you need to respond. <laughs> yeah, I know Tom Morello. He's a loser. No, he's great. Ah, he's a bit of a loser. No, he's just very, he's a bit woke. Um, <laughs> he, yeah, he went to a coffee shop and the guy's like, does anyone ever tell you you look like the guitarist from Rage Against the Machine? He's like, yeah, no, I get that a lot. And he's like, yeah, okay. What do you want? What is this thing? And what name? Tom. <laughs> nice. Good. Good, Tom. Um, Good one, Thomas. I didn't send you any news, but I gave you news I did. You gave me the Mona Lisa one. And the Peter one. Yeah, what was the Peter one? Oh, that one. Peter hates Lego because Lego has farming sets oh, yeah. and Peter doesn't believe in farming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Peter are the worst. They make me want to eat more animals. <laughs> and the thing is, like, not eating any animal in particular won't annoy them more than eating any other animal because they think all animals are equal. So, like, they would be just upset if you ate a worm as if you ate a cow or a puppy. Or some sort of exotic animal, like chameleon. Yeah. Oh, I want to eat an endangered animal. Well, that'd probably get to him. Would you like to eat the last of an endangered animal? If it died of natural causes? <laughs> this is just like, would you eat a dead magpie? <laughs> but it's probably got a disease. Like, if it's got natural causes. Well, yeah, that's true. It's but it's endangered. You'll never get a chance again. <laughs> no one will get a chance. You know, at that it's stage. <laughs> yeah, it's like... And no one would have eaten one for decades. Like, it's not endangered because people are hunting and eating them. They're endangered because they're a loser species. Like pandas. <laughs> pandas are great, though. No, pandas are great, but they were never supposed to eat bamboo. <laughs> well, who decided? They got pushed up into the mountains. Pushed out of their environment. Where was their natural like environment? Thousands of years ago. Yeah, what were they eating before? In China, they'd eat like the normal. dodo. No, they were Chinese like, food. they were like bears. <laughs> they they were like, would eat. They would eat normal food that bears would eat. People. Yeah, or people, <laughs> fish, whatever. Are you saying like? But they got pushed up into the mountains, where like all there was was bamboo, and then they just kind of started eating bamboo. I think you're wrong. And now they won't stop eating bamboo. <laughs> I don't believe it. No, that's they weren't originally just bamboo eaters. I'd... That's because of their environment was pushed into that direction. And now they like have trouble breeding and stuff. No, that's a choice. That was yeah. Ricky Gervais had that thing. What? He was like, I'm not touching her. Not <laughs> even to save your species. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's. I don't believe that. I don't to believe. To be fair, I don't know about the whole save your species thing. Like, no, you'd just be the last one. It's just. I me. feel like if I was the last person. I would intentionally not breed. Like if I was the second last. We're not doing this. Another human. <laughs> it's up to sa- us to save the world. No. No. <laughs> not doing it. <laughs> we ruined it. We ruined the earth the first time. We're not building another bunch of us to ruin it again. One and done. One uh. and done. No, no, no. Earth's going to survive because it'll just be full of monkeys instead of people. And then they'll evolve again. They'll evolve to suit their environment, which will be cities and stuff. Because they'll come into the cities, they'll evolve and kind of figure out how to use telephones and aeroplanes and stuff. And you know, yeah, and you know what'll happen? They'll like, because I mean, it's gonna it's gonna take squillions of years to get to that stage again. Yeah. But they're gonna finally evolve to a point where they're like human beings like us, and they're gonna dig deep enough and find like a mobile phone and no, be like, "What is this?" There'll be more monkeys than us, but Maybe. they'll evolve. 
faster than us mentally because of all the technology they find. No, but they're monkeys. Yeah. I mean, they have held cameras before. Yeah. Yeah. They've taken selfies. Yep. They've used sticks to get bugs out of trees. You imagine being, <laughs> you imagine being the ancestor of the monkey who took that camera and took a photo. <laughs> And you're telling, like, your grandkids, like, my great-grandfather took a camera. Yeah, I I imagine that. (laughs) Okay, should we... Should we? Do a different word game? Yeah, what's your word game? Uh, NRL teams. Oh, yeah, yeah. NRL? Yeah. All right. Existing ones, not prior to... The 90s. If you can remember pre rabbitos who cares? <laughs> but if I've never heard of them, you lose. <laughs> <laughs> it's opinion based. Because <laughs> you can make stuff up. Okay, no, current teams only. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, St. George. Raiders. Oh, crap, I was going for dragons. <laughs> the Dexy's not working. <laughs> Should we try that exact one again? Yeah. Okay. Start the same. St. George. Raiders. Eels. Broncos. Titans. Cowboys. Uh, Rabbitohs. Storm. Uh, Rabbitohs. <laughs> yes! I didn't expect to win that one because that was every team I knew. Knights. Yeah, Knights would have been one. I could have just named any animal and I probably would have gotten half right. Yeah. And well, dolphin. if you went AFL, you definitely would because there's 700 teams. Oh, uh, yeah. Hate those guys. Okay. Did that wake oh, us yeah. up? Are we alert and ready? No, I'm sad because I lost. Stop your video and let's get the thing going first. Go Testing. On. One, two, three. Wait, it sunk again. It's down around my ankles. <laughs> <laughs> what is with this mic stand? I need to do a poo, and I feel like I would have won the weigh-in if I did the <laughs> poo. Leave that in the audio. Oh, oh it is doing. <laughs>